In one of my earlier videos, I showed you guys the Luke eggs. They finally have developed into tadpoles. So it's time for me to pull them. So basically, I'm going to set up their cups. And I have my own method for this. There are a whole bunch of different methods. Some people use osmosis water. I use regular spring water. And then I just put a few drips of this Repti Safe in it. So, there you go. And some folks use Indian almond leaf. I've been pretty okay with raising my tadpoles, and they more they've all have morphed out. I probably have lost like two tadpoles um, out of maybe like twenty or thirty or so. So, put a piece of that leaf in. A piece in here, a piece of Java moss, and everyone everyone has different methods. Some people change their water. Some people don't change their water. I don't change my water. You know that's just me. But if you feel, if you feel like you need to change your water, then do so. I mean, if if your water is murky and very dirty, uh, you probably should change it. And if you can't see that the tadpole has popped its legs, if you can't see the tadpole, you should change your water. So. Here are the eggs, well, here are the tadpoles. There are two here, and this egg is molded over. So, I'm gonna use this turkey baster to pull these guys out. And you wanna have, um, you wanna leave them in different cups. I already put one in here. You wanna place them in different cups because of cannibalism. So, here we go. There's one. And they love to play dead, so... Don't think that they're not alive. They're pretty much alive. Just if you don't see them moving. See that guy's off. Or oh, girl. And... There's the last one. Wants to play hard to get. So that's it. I have three tabs for morphing. And like I said, I don't do water changes. But um, if you want to do that, then fine by me. And if you can't see them, then do it. So I was going to say not something else. Oh, but I do add more water because the water tends to evaporate. And I use um, the ZooMed's tadpole bites. And that's it. So, if you're looking to do the traditional tadpole tea, some Java moss and an Indian almond leaf will work for you. These are magnolia leaves that I use. Don't hang me, guys. All of this is just advice. Well, excuse me, it's not even advice. It's just my methods. But have a great day. Like, subscribe, don't dislike, comment, and enjoy your frogs.